Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm gonna do April favorites. I'm gonna be explaining to you guys what products that I use the most this month and just explaining why I like it and the benefits of using it. Let's start with the first product. Moisturizing is the number one thing that you need to use before doing anything before your face. If every single day, no matter, even if you just put makeup on for that day, Moisturizing is key every single day to prevent you from sun damage, um, discoloration, and moisture so your face doesn't get too overly dry. One of my favorites is by Garnier. It's Skin Renewal. It's a daily moisture lotion, anti-sun damage, and it's SPF 28. 20 is the highest that you should go on your face because anything higher would make, it, make your face too dewy and too oily when you're in the sun, so make it, it make, it'll make it look like you're sweating a lot. I use this, even though it's sunscreen, I use it every single day, every single night when I get out of the shower, every single time I put makeup on, or if I'm going out for like a quick grocery stop, or just anything, I put it on every single day. Honestly, I've seen a major difference in the discoloration around my mouth, around my nose, and the sunspots that I have, it's really fading away. And I, I'm not kidding you, I stay by this 100%. You don't see results like a month after, but over time you see, see your face gradually getting a lot better. So, number one moisturizer I would recommend. As far as foundation, I've been using um, NYC Smooth Skin Finny Parfait BB Cream, five in one. And I'm using O2 medium in this one. And um, this has been, I think this is the only foundation that I've been using so far for every single one of my makeup routines that I do every single day when I'm going out. I don't use heavy foundation, maybe because it's too heavy for my face and I've been breaking out a lot lately. So I'm going for a more like a lighter coverage. What's weird about this is even though it gives you a light coverage, it gives you a heavy coverage at the same time. So it covers all the imperfections that you want and at the same time it gives you that light, really light texture balance in your face. This is also a plus when it comes to skin conditions. It helps um, minimize pores, it helps discoloration of your face, and as well helps protect the skin. For concealer, I know you've guys seen it in most of my videos. Um, this is the only concealer that I've been using so far and it's by MAC. It's Pro Long Wear Concealer. Um, it's in NW15. I'm not sure if you guys could see that. And with this one, it's a very thick liquid concealer. Thick enough to not crease under your eyes. So that's a major plus because I've, I've used a lot of concealers to where they're thick or they're in like little pots where I've been putting it on and then over, t over a couple of hours they would crease with the lines of my um, underneath my eyes. And I know I've heard that you have to warm it up and stuff, but trust me, I did everything and that still does not work. This might work for everybody or might not, but this is so far my favorite concealer. I've been using this for the past two or three years so far and it has never failed me. For this much in the concealer, it will probably last me six months. So that's a really long time. And you only need a, like a little tiny pump, not even a full pump. You need like a half a pump for you to get full eye, both of your eyes because um, when you do a one full pump, I think that gives you a lot of concealer. and when you're doing half a pump it lasts you a long time. As far as contouring, a lot of makeup artists use um, like different color foundation to contour everywhere to make their face a 3D dimensional but recently I found this little foundation stick. It's shine free so it's matte and it's by Maybelline and it's called Fit Me and it's a foundation stick and I have it in 330. This is a really, really good color to choose if you're going to contour your face. It's not too orange and it's not too brown. It has like like a half orange and half brown into it to where it has a perfect, perfect like contouring shade. Let me just put it some on my hand to where I can show you guys. As you can see, it's like, it's a really nice brown color. Some of these contours that we have, that I have, um, they're a little bit too orange, but this is a really, really good cover coverage as well as contouring. 
I just recently bought this and I've been looking all over for the best contouring stick or foundation to use because I've seen a lot of girls contouring their faces nowadays and me, I never used to contour. I would just use bronzer on my cheeks and that's it. So I'm getting to the game right now. Bronzer is by Benefit and it's called Hula. And I think this is the only bronzer that I stuck by for a long, long time. And um, it's a really nice brown color. It's not too orange and it's not too brown and it's not too like the fake orange tan. This little thing lasts me for almost a year because you don't need too, like again, you don't need too much to where you're pounding it on your face. You just need a little sweep and it covers the perfect amount. Since I have this shade on me right now, I'm gonna try and see if I could give you guys a gist of how this shade will, looks like. It's almost the same color, but we'll see. Yeah, it's more of like a brown-ish and the other one's more of an orange-ish, if you guys could see. So this top here is the Hula. And then this bottom is the Fit Me. So, the Fit Me has a little bit more orange to it, but trust me, when you put it on your face, it, it turns a lot like your skin, like it's matched for your skin tones. My favorite highlighter. This highlighter is by Too Faced, and it's called Candlelight. It's a highlighting powder duo. Um, what I mean by duo is it comes in two different highlighting shades. So one comes in pink and then one comes in like a white powder color. But they're they're the same, I think they're the same shade of highlighting. This one has more like a pink undertone to it and this one is just a white transparent one to it. So when you put them both together, it looks like this. It's not it's not that bad. And the reason why I like this one is because some of the highlighting powders that I see around here they're more of like, it acts like a white eyeshadow, so you're basically smearing white eyeshadow, which I don't like. I use this all the time. I don't change highlighters at all. I use the same one ever since, I think I purchased this like two and a half years ago, and I look, I still even have it. You don't need that much, trust me. A little goes a long way. As far as mascara, this is my favorite mascara. It's by Maybelline, it's called the Colossal Volume Express. And um, it's just a normal thick brush. I don't like those brushes that have those weird shapes and those waves to it. I honestly think they don't do any different than what this regular one does. Um, it gives you the right amount of volume and the right amount of mascara onto your eyelashes so it doesn't look like it's clumpy or you have too much on. And what I like about this is actually it curls your eyelashes at the same time. Um, so I basically, I never, never use an eyelash curler because this one is like a two-in-one. It has an eyelash curler and mascara in one. And then last but not least, when it comes to eyebrows, it's Anastasia Brow Pencil. Um, you can't see the name of it because it's kind of came off. I have this in Medium Ash Blonde. Um, I know I'm not Medium Ash Blonde, but I chose a color that's a little bit lighter than my hair color. Just so it doesn't look like it's like a dark, dark. This is one of my favorite eyebrow pencils. I've tried many out there. The ones that you sharpen and then the ones that it's like powder too. And that usually doesn't work for me. I, like it has the right amount of shading and the right amount of darkness and lightness to where it doesn't look like you actually drew your eyebrows on. It actually looks pretty natural. And what I like about this is because the other end has the brush so you could brush it on the other end and then you could use the, the pencil and just line them up. This typically lasts me about, let's see, if you're doing your makeup every single day, I would probably say this would last you about, about a year. So far, it's been lasting me a year so far, so probably a year I would say this would last for anybody. Hope you guys like my April favorites. Um, I know it's the end of the month. I decided to do an April favorite video. This is my first video showing you guys how what type of products that I use mostly and what type of products that I recommend. So hopefully you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe and comment um, and stay tuned for my next video. Bye.